You know what? I haven't played Era of Terror in a while. I wonder how it's doing. Well, that's not good. Good day, evening, or night, fellow people. It is I, Lars, and for this video, we'll be answering a question I asked in my last EOT video. Is the game dead? You guys gave great feedback in the comment section last time, which has motivated me to make another video on the topic. So if you like videos like these, feel free to like and subscribe so I know you guys want more content. I have my own answer to the question of is EOT dead, but first we'll go over what caused the decline in players in a nutshell, why it has stayed that way, and why it's going to stay that way, so you guys can decide on your own answer. So for now let's get into the video. Okay, call me Dream because I'm about to speedrun this part of the video, because I made a whole video on the subject if you want to watch that, which I'll link in the corner. Aliens, the owner of Era of Terror, made a big executive oopsie poopsie by waiting until mesh deformation was fully out to the public before any update to the main game was made. But mesh deformation wouldn't be fully out for another 10 to 12 months, therefore leaving a buggy and laggy mess to dry out in the sun for around a year before finally making some updates to the game. But the damage was already done and the majority of the playbase left and went to other, arguably better, games. Mesh deformation is now playable in the testing game slot and there has been some quality of life changes to the main game, but it's all been a little too late. As said previously, the majority of hardcore player base left a long time ago, and the game is relatively in the same place it was last year, so it's still unappealing for returning in new players. A glaring problem the game has had over its years has been its inability to listen to its player base. Whether it was criticism of the map, dinosaur stats, or general gameplay, the community felt like its feedback fell on deaf ears, as the developers seemed to ignore everything and continue to just add in things that didn't help or that just broke the game. Basically, instead of getting an interesting and fun game, we got a map that wasn't play tested so it was horrible to play on, and $200-$400 dollars costing models that could just walk around. It doesn't matter how realistic or HD looking your game looks, if it's not fun to play, you won't have anyone playing it. Also, not to mention both owners of the game have been accused and been proven to express racist, misogynistic and homophobic behaviour, and when they apologised, they said in their discord they were owning the liberals. But <laughs> that's for another day. See, even my budgies are worked up, can you hear that? Terrible. With all that being said, I really do recommend playing different dinosaur games such as the ones I'm showing on screen if you're looking for something to play. It is disappointing the game turned out this way and the community feels the same, but to end on a high note, Air of Terror Legacy is being made by different developers who want to capture the essence of the old EOT and go on from there, but we'll see how that goes. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe to join the Wolf Fam and I'll see you in the video next week. Bye Felicia.